Hi, my name is Broke. Yeah, I'm Broke. Nice to meet you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back a block of bork. Okay, long story short, I'm gonna work again. I'm gonna talk about things, but uh, express my concerns, fears, uh, my complaints. <laughs> I don't really- do I complain about Blockburg a lot? I don't know. So as you guys know, uh, we, we have been getting Blockburg updates pretty much like once a month. And I'm super, super grateful and happy for those. Like, I'm just grateful for any updates. Uh, we're lucky to have any updates for this game, right? We're super lucky. With some of these updates, they're not always like the best things ever. There's some really- there's some great updates. And then there's also the updates that are kind of like- a bit underwhelming and such. I don't think I complain about this game too much. I'm kind of just like, you know, in this type of game, you have to find your own things to do. You have to come up with your own solutions. And I think I've been doing a pretty good job with finding things to do when there's nothing much to do. I guess complain, yeah. While I complain, uh, express my worries for this game, I'm going to work because I'm broke. And you know what? We're being multitaskers today. I'm going to work. Oh wait, I'm a, I'm, I'm a child. I'm a child! Don't you guys love these? So it's basically another like, why don't you just chill with me while I work and get money and talk about these things? Because how does everyone feel about Blockberry right now? Right now, people are still playing it. Like a lot of a lot of people are playing it still. Ninety thousand, like that's great. Eighty-one thousand. <laughs> All right, I don't want to hear the moped. You're too loud. I'm going to be honest here. I'm kind of fearful for what is to come for the future in Blockburg. I'm just a tad bit concerned. I don't know if I should be concerned because I don't know what what's going to happen. Hey, I love this game so much. All right, this is like my main game on my channel. I love playing this game. There's, of course, things that could always be improved, be adjusted or something. And not every game is perfect. Okay, Blockburg is definitely not a perfect game, but it's definitely gotten better. Uh, over time, like back then, a couple years ago, it was it was something. But things have gotten a lot better since then. Like building has definitely have gotten a lot a lot better. Like people are doing crazy and amazing things with build hacks and making use of basic shapes. Like basic shapes are definitely game changers for this game. So building in Blockberry has been definitely improved a lot. So that's good. They also been you know they've been catering to the roleplay aspect, like adding babies and toddlers in this game. So I'm really glad they've been definitely improving on roleplay aspects as well. Well, the block break is only getting better, but I'm kind of like fearful. Like, how long will it be till we get more certain things? You know, like, wonder how long it'll be. Once again, this uh, game is only developed by mainly two people, which is Queptus and Froggy Hop. So it's definitely understandable. Two people working on a game, you know, it's it's tough. It's really tough. They can only do so much. I'm to say the number one thing I would like Blockberg to uh, to uh, to change or like to add in the game is uh, rota roof rotations. I know this is like a build mode update that I, I'm waiting for. Okay, this is like the longest. When I'm building houses, I use gable roofs a lot. Okay, so I would like for there to be the gable roof to be rotated at least we we all know the slanted roof can be rotated which is awesome but i hope that they uh make it so that you know you can rotate all of the roofs in order for your gable roof to look a certain way it has to be a certain size okay you know i'm gonna stop working just to explain this it, it can be so inconvenient all right it can be inconvenient the number one thing roofing needs an update rework all right it needs a bit of an update so let's say okay we're building ourselves a nice little house here you know it's just a two by two and then you also have a three by uh, this thing, right? All right, let's just build three little. When you uh, use a gable roof on a house and you do on like a, you know, a square like this, it's perfect. Like this is great. Okay, it faces this way. When it's when it's like a square or um, longer, it'll look just like that. Perfect, right? It's kind of cool. But when you have sort of like a wider type of build, it faces this way. Okay, and what I really would like, okay. I would like to be able to rotate the gable roof. I know other games. Sims definitely has that feature where you can, you're can you able to like rotate or adjust the gable roof however you like. Obviously, this is not The Sims. It's Roblox coding and Blockberg, but I'm sure they can figure that out. And I think Roville, you know, Blockberg's cousin can do that as well. So I'm hoping one day we, we're able to rotate the gable roof. So that's the only roof I use these days. I don't know about the other roofs. Can you rotate the other roofs? I'm about to just mess with these real quick it'd be also kind of cool if you could rotate the gamble roof as well like maybe just like make it if possible if it makes sense have some of these other roofs be able to be rotated but i'm really glad with the slanted roof you can rotate that however you'd like very cool number one complaint because i do build a lot and i'm sure some builders would definitely like this type of update as well if 
for those who make like traditional homes or I don't know, anything with the gable roof i'm sure people would enjoy being able to rotate them while, and while we're speaking about roofs i hope they also add like a hollowed version of every type of roof because we do have a hollow version of the mansard roof and that was added to the game it was very interesting it was very interesting but yeah once again i am not a game developer myself so it doing that type of like coding that type of thing in blogware could be very difficult but coeptus has proven to show you know he can he can he can do some crazy things right i'm sure queptus is very 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 skilled so i wouldn't be surprised if he was able to do that i'd be surprised if he couldn't do that i mean i don't know maybe he can't right now <laughs> that's why we don't have it so number two uh this is just general public complaint all right it's not just me okay it's not me it's everyone who plays this game has this complaint i might have to stop working to explain whatever i'm going to talk about for this too uh blockbrook's been out for about five to six years i think i think it's about, about six years right 2016 when it got released so six years six years and our map has been adjusted but it hasn't really gotten many many updates at all and i'm I'm very concerned about that. I'm very concerned about Block Break because we probably won't get some sort of town map update for a very long time. And you want to know why I feel this way? Gosh, I have to stop working again. <laughs> Gosh, I have to stop working again. Before this background came about, there was, of course, the camera POV. So they added this still image here. And if you were to uh, choose your plot, one of the reasons why I believe a map update or a town update won't happen for a while at least is when you're choosing your plot location, okay, they have already added in a picture of the plots that are currently in the game and um, whoever's on it, of course. It doesn't take that much work to add in a picture and choosing your plot, right? It definitely doesn't take that much work. I don't know. I just have this feeling we just because we have this new plot selection screen of like what the current map looks like i have a feeling we won't get a new one for a while so that's it that's basically it that sums it up all right so of course a potential solution for this i don't even know if they have plans like i don't know what their plans are for what what they're gonna do with this map i don't know if they're gonna do a completely new map like a couple solutions for that if they're not gonna do a brand new map is to of course update the current buildings in this game have it be a bit more updated and add a few more things so it's not so empty feeling or another suggestion is they could also take some community created builds It'd be kind of cool if queptus sort of like was able to be able to import other people's creations and add them into the map because we've seen something similar like that happen before where you know during the fall update last year there was that barn place new location added back there near the campfire it was kind of like that forgot what it was called but there was a there was a building that was added over there i don't know if it's possible i i don't know if how difficult that would be to be able to import someone else's creation into like the map itself but wouldn't that be interesting you know if they aren't going to do a new map maybe they could do that refresh current builds make it more lively or they're able to take community builds and put them in the game itself maybe there could be a poll or a vote on what sort of creations could be added we get to explore a build that someone took their time to make and you know enjoy it in the game everyone gets to enjoy it Coeptus probably won't have to do much with that right he, he, did, he didn't have to build it himself he can just have someone else help build something and import it because that fall build back there definitely felt like something that built in Blockburg first and then sort of just import it into the map itself i'm not sure i'm not sure how, exactly how they went about that but it definitely felt like froggy built froggy built it and then queptus added that build back there so queptus would definitely have to contact the builders themselves i mean who would say no to it right who would say no to that you either update the current builds which you can you could probably definitely do that you could probably do both update the builds that are currently in the town and add community builds into the town as well as long as there's room but Look at this. Look at this game, guys. Okay, there's definitely plenty of room, right? There's plenty of room. There's so much greenery around here. Like, they, they definitely can add some stuff. But also, they probably have to... They definitely would have to change up the map a bit uh, to accommodate all these community builds. Maybe they would have to, like, add a road here or something. I don't know. All right, number three is very short and simple, but um, music. <laughs> music in this game. You know, Blockwork has the iconic main menu music. We all know and have heard about it. Some people have it already on mute, including me. I have the music muted for this game. Um, but it would be really interesting for Blockwork to add in more types of music, like main menu music. Maybe you could select which main menu music you'd like. And then also for build mode, uh, you could also add in some build mode music even build mode music because we haven't gotten new build mode music in a long time so definitely would love to see more music added into this game for like the main menu and build mode uh because thinking about it music does make a big difference in some games like some some games have some crazy good soundtracks and didn't blockberg add in like a uh 
composer into their uh, development group recently, like not too long ago, maybe like a, maybe a couple months ago, but I think his name is Beeslick, which if you guys know, Beeslick is a really amazing composer. So I'm wondering if he's cooking up some Blockberg music. We are, of course, tired of the same main menu music and build music. So of course you can mute it or you can play your own songs, which I'm sure most people already do. But no, just for the game itself, I would love to hear new music one day in the future. If they add in their update notes, I'm definitely going to listen to it. Number four, we're going to number four here, a gallery. <laughs> I've talked about this plenty of times, but it's possible. It has to be possible. So Sims 4 uh, has this feature called the gallery. Um, where you can download, upload, preview builds that other people have in the community have created. Roville, which is also a Roblox game, you know, Blockburst cousin, has this feature as well. So I'm wondering why, you know, I'm wondering if Blockburst could also add this feature in, um, similar to Roville. Why not, you know, why don't the creator of Roville and Blockburst kind of collab a bit on that? I don't know. Actually, it's not that easy. <laughs> not that easy with a competitor. I would love to see a gallery type feature in Blockbrick someday because it would definitely change up a lot of things. I know there's lots of like pros and cons with this feature. Pros are, okay, the only pros I can think of for this feature is that, you know, people are able to access build a lot easier, They're able to load in. It's just easier for everyone to like be able to buy buy a house and like live in it and such. Especially for role players. I think role players would have a great time with this feature and people who just, you know, aren't able to build, you know, they're not, they feel themselves aren't good at it or they just don't want to build. It would be great for them. People who upload their builds and have their builds get downloaded and like bought and stuff could also receive a percentage. Okay, because people in Roville are very rich because of the the builds that they upload. So if you're a builder in Blockbird and you make really great things, you're, you're gonna see like, you're gonna be able to build, okay? You're not even gonna have to work for your life ever again. Okay, builders probably won't have to really work in the game. They can just keep building and get money, right? So they would get a percentage of whatever they sold. And even for content creators as well, like content creators can tour people's builds very easily just by like going to their their own like little, they can search up their name and then find a build and tour it. I think it's mostly a win-win, but also the like a problem with this feature is that people do fear that speed builds will not be as watched because of this. I definitely can understand that. Like that's for sure. I don't know how speed builds would be affected if they did add in this feature. By the same time, Sims 4 people, people in the Sims community still do speed builds. And you know, I think they're doing great. I'm sure people will still watch speed builds. You know, if anything, people will go to your speed builds. They'll maybe watch it and see how it looks and then go into the game, uh, download it, and then it'll benefit you and Blockberg as well. So I'm not sure things would work, but hopefully they're able to just like figure out the best way to add this feature in the game. Because I do see a lot of pros coming from this, like a lot. A lot of pros coming from that. Uh, back in April, we got ourselves a, a little April Fool school prank. And that was really funny. I actually really enjoyed that a lot. It was so really fun to edit that video. But then they took it out, okay? They took the school away. They added the library back, which is, I guess, as close to we got to a school. In that school April Fool's update, there was, of course, like the furniture. We got to see a desk. We got to see lockers and stuff. Maybe like pencils and such. So it'd be cool if they added in like an, an update for like school furniture. So in the meantime, people can use those things for their own like, tools that they make while we patiently wait for a real school to get added into the game. They already made it. I don't know if it's like fitting to just have it in build mode already, or maybe they have to make some changes to those items before they add in build mode. But still, I would like to see them add school furniture update in the game. And it's also back to school season. Like people are like, some of you guys are already back in school. And that's my last little complaint. Um, um, but overall, I'm still a little bit concerned about Blockbird's status. I mean, it's definitely gotten better over the years. And I'm super grateful as always for, for whatever update that comes out. But still, like, you know, we got the toilet update last time. Almost two weeks since then. But that update was kind of underwhelming. I am grateful. Like, I'm glad we got new toilets. I'm super glad we got new toilets. We got towels and stuff. I don't know, it was a bit underwhelming and I think we should lower our expectations a little bit when we when we uh, are expecting an update. Like if, if it doesn't add too much, then we aren't too surprised about it. We're so disappointed. But I know Halloween and Christmas are coming, so expect those updates to be kind of cool, you know? Expect those to be nice. I hope they do something different with those this year because we already know how they're going to turn out, okay? We already know how they turn out from previous years, so. But yeah, anyway, guys, that will pretty much wrap up today's video. I just wanted to express my concerns and my wishes for what's, you know, what I want to get added in Blockberg. If you guys have your own suggestions, I'll leave those comments down below. It's always fun reading those. If you guys did enjoy this video, you found it uh, interesting in a way, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. I'll still try and find something to do. I'm still, you know, knowing me, I'm still going to find something to 
to mess with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.